So we now have a brand new DJI Fly update 1.12.8 and a new update for the RC2 controller version 02000500. So today we're going to go through the key feature with this new update and how this can actually save you a lot of money when you're out traveling. Trust me, it will. So let's get into it. So for the RC2 controller, we have a new feature now called display zoom, or in other words, you're able to change the font size. So instead of having those small numbers on the screen, as you can see now, you can also select a larger font size, which will make text like speed, altitude, distance, settings, and so on easier to see on the screen. And comparing the two sizes here, there is a significant difference. But the biggest feature of this update is of course gonna be before you fly and the flight spots. So this does not only allow you to go through a checklist before you fly at that certain location you're traveling to but it also shows the different areas to fly which has been captured by other DJI drone users. So it's sort of a remote community just built into the controller here which is amazing and if you ask me this is a much more convenient way of finding locations you want to fly rather than browsing through Google or Google Earth for example or maps and stuff like that for days and believe me this is exactly what I've been doing to this date just going through Google trying to find different flight spots and it's just a pain it takes forever but this update makes it so much easier for anyone to find amazing and also safe spots to fly and at the beginning of this video I also mentioned that this update could save you a lot of money when you're out traveling and by that I mean you can actually browse through the location you're traveling to directly on the controller and you can do all of this without turning on your drone which is amazing it saves you time for to set up and you can actually sit down in your you know your spare time if you're traveling traveling to a different location in let's say next month you can just sit down and go through the map on the controller see what other people have uploaded you can check videos you can check photos and all of that and you can actually save those as well which we will come to in a sec but this means that you can just plan your flights in a more efficient way than just driving around wasting gas money trying to find the perfect location and for me when I travel to let's say Hawaii for example best place on earth when I travel there there there's always that hassle of trying trying to find a perfect location to fly. And if you don't know by now, I usually want and prefer to go to as close to the spot I want to film as possible. And this also gives me more fly time. I have a full dedicated video on that, which I will link down below. It's my travel review of the Mini 4 Pro. I highly recommend that you check that because I think you will learn a lot when it comes to this drone. But it will save me so much money when I go out and travel because I can plan everything on the controller so I don't have to drive around, waste gas money on trying to find the perfect location to fly my Mini 4 Pro. So instead I can just sit on the couch, I can go through a full map of the country and the location I'm traveling to and when I find a spot I think, you know, man, I'm gonna go there with my drone. This looks like the perfect spot to capture some amazing 4K slow motion videos with the Mini 4 Pro. I can just save that location by selecting the add to plan on the controller here and I can do this as many times as I want. So let's say you're traveling to a country and you just landed, it's now the next day and you're ready to go out there and capture some amazing videos with your drone you can now just turn on the controller and go over to your profile or through the before you fly section here and select the profile icon right here and when you've done this you go over to plan to fly and you will have all your saved locations and it will give you all the details you need to know about getting there the address everything but since some of the information is missing here when I searched for Oahu not sure why but because of that let's head back to Norway so back on before you fly here on the left hand side we get all the information about this area we get the address safety and if it's a location with weak or high drone control so basically how often the authorities will check for people flying a drone further down here we also have a preparation before you fly here in Norway and here we can see that it's required to have an operator registration and your drone has to be labeled so if we select this option here we can get more information and this will also tell you exactly where to register which is is amazing if you're just starting out you're traveling to a new country and you're not sure how to register for that country you can just go into the controller and go through the section here register so once you get to that location
location. You don't have to do anything. You can just go out and you can enjoy your flight. So this is a really nice feature that DJI added. And I think this will benefit a lot of beginners out there. Just makes it everything so much easier for those of us that wants to travel to different countries. So to fly a drone here in Norway, for example, we can see that registration is only required once. The other cool feature with this update is also related to the before you fly section and flight spots, but it's that you can actually go through different locations and browse through the photos and videos that other people have uploaded. And then you can go in and make a review, for example. So if you go to either of these places, you can also go in and you can uh, type a review recommending people to go there because the spot was amazing. Or if it's really bad, you know, just type, I don't recommend going to this spot. And another thing is that you can also share your videos. So the next time, you're out flying yourself you can also share your flight and location for other people to see and also get inspired and also throw in some photos and videos maybe just to you know help people see what this location looks like so that will really help the community so it's basically a uh, uh, a you share, I share experience or community. So the more people that go out and fly and share the locations of where they are flying, the better it's gonna be for the entire community because everyone can go in and see and check for different spots. So it really makes things more convenient. So to have this feature now on the Mini 4 Pro, it's gonna make my trip so much easier to plan. Instead of going through hours of Google search trying to find different spots, I can just go into the controller and see where people have been flying and check out the photos, the videos of that location. And if I think that, wow, I'm gonna go there next time I'm going to Hawaii or a different country, uh, I can just put that to add to plan. And when I land, I can go in, I can select that and it will give me a direct route to that location. Now, it's just amazing. It's gonna save me so much time. And also another thing I recommend doing after you have updated to this latest firmware is that you go through your settings. Usually they don't change, but in my case, I had the histogram which got disabled and also the camera motion in the smart shot section for the active track got reset. So it's always better to check before your next flight so you don't end up wasting time or end up getting caught by a surprise when you suddenly see that the settings have been changed. And also if you don't wanna change between different LUTs or if you struggle to find the perfect color grading for your uh, DJI Mini 4 Pro or any other camera for that matter, make sure to check out my signature LUTs. I spent four years on developing these to work perfectly with the different DJI profiles and other profiles as well. And these cinematic signature LUTs will add that extra punch to your footage when you want to get the most out of your DJI drones. Link down below. But this update is one of the biggest updates for me personally after waypoints and this will just make it so much easier for me to find different flight spots in the country I'm traveling to. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next videos. And if you really liked it, make sure to drop a like down below. That would be really appreciated. And if you got time, make sure to check out this video right here as well. This is my travel edition of the Mini 4 Pro. I highly recommend checking that out. You're gonna learn so much more about this drone. So until next time, take care and I'll catch you soon.